This day, 54 years ago, saw one of the most infamous incidents in our area's history. It was even turned into a famous song. The true story behind the song and the day that changed a family's life coming up on Newswatch 16 at 7. A cured meat called supersada is a treat carried over to the United States by Italian immigrants. Back in 1997, Mike Stevens made a trip to Northumberland County. He visited a grocery store that specialized in supersada or soupy, as the locals call it. Here's Mike's stop from 22 years ago. The Little Bear Market in Mount Carmel. But behind the scenes is where we'll go because that's where they make soupies. We begin almost at the end in the curing area where supersatas hang by the hundreds. They look good enough to eat. Art Catino says not quite yet. If you come over here, you can check these. It's only a matter of feeling. Squeeze them, you can feel the, feel the, the middle of it. Still soft. Still soft. Art says from start to finish, it'll take four months for a soupy to be ready. Once they're cured, you can put them in oil and keep them for, well, quite some time. And when they're in oil, you could probably keep these completely submerged in oil for several years. To get that far, though, take some work. It's an all pork to help with it, Art calls what on Tom Cole, a butcher for 40, 40 years. He has more than a little experience. Right. He can bone an 18-pound ham in less time than it would take most of us to decide we want to do it. How long does it take you to do one of those? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. <laughs> less than 50 seconds, 50 seconds. But perhaps that's a story for a different day. Once ground, the meat for this originally southern Italian delicacy is spiced. Without salt, the whole process can't be done. Perfect. Throw in some Fine hot ground. cayenne pepper. We're going to add that And to a it. little paprika for color. And then this one here is paprika. Art and Tom have done all this many, many times. They made 3,000 soupies this season. When the meat is pressed, it loses about half its weight. So they actually cut, ground, seasoned, and packed a ton and a half of meat. But these fellows make soupies to savor. Look at this spread. This is what you can end up with. Here are the fixings for a pleasant afternoon. These are roasted hot peppers in olive oil and garlic. Same with that's a sweet pepper. Imported provolone cheese, homemade bread, a very pleasant afternoon. I'm Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Mount Carmel. The Little Bear Market in Mount Carmel closed a few years ago. However, just a short distance up the street from the old grocery store stands the wine store, Catino Vino. Now, in addition to wine, the folks at Catino's still make supersada every year. They say they used 70,000 pounds of meat for soupies last year. Catino's also mixes meat for folks who like to make their own supersada at home. You can find a link to Catino Vino at WNEP.com.